Well, I started your video and, and it turned it into the opening video this week, uh, which helped me and hopefully it helped you. Apparently I was blabbering, Amy said, but we got a 34 minute opening video because I was wandering all over the place talking about my thoughts on the sale, sales in general this year, trends that I saw, that I think I saw and how they may impact uh, sales in the future. But today, I did have to do a video about Saturday. Yesterday, we raced some horses. We scratched Casanova Hall because he had a temperature. He was a little bit sick, so he took the week off. Pickpocket, and it made a very unusual and rare break at the start, but it wasn't lameness. It wasn't attributed to lameness. Nobody said anything to me about Pickpocket having any issues other than he just made a break. Um, Three-point blue chip raced good. Could have raced a little better, but raced good to finish third and then tactical mounds. We talked about her in the early video also. Uh, Megan said she scoped a little bit of mucus, a little bit of blood, and I talked extensively about her and my thoughts on tactical landing, or, or sorry, tar tactical mounds uh, moving forward. I think she should get a break. Um, in fact, I think she should get a, a permanent break. I think she should be turned out and bred in 2025. And you'll have to go to the opening video to listen to me blabber on, apparently, about um, about my thoughts on that and, and the entire situation surrounding tactical mounts. It's all good. Listen, she's one of the fastest mares of all time, and she uh, she's well bred, and has done nothing but good for the stable and for for her owners. So there's nothing bad to talk about in respect to tactical mounts. Now, um, now that we have Saturday out of the way, we are pulling in right now to. I'm just gonna pick up my car, and then we're gonna go. No, there's not two tactical mounts. We're pulling in right now. I'm going to pick up my car, and then we are going to go to Northfield Park. Check out uh, the kittens, as Addie said. Check out all the new horses. Make sure everybody's fitting in and everything's going well at Northfield Park. I got to go back home. I'm on my way to the airport. I'm going to fly to Illinois. I got some racing to do tonight in uh, Chicago. We have Allie's Got Grit and What a Lady, What a Night Racing in their prospective finals in Illinois. This will be their last start, I would imagine of 2024, what we do with them. I don't know. We'll see. We have a lot of stuff we talked about in the opening this week. Um, a lot of stuff that we talked about in the opening this week that doesn't need to be repeated, I suppose. But as for tonight, we have Allie's Got Grit and What a Lady, What a Night. I was trying to see the calendar. It doesn't show me who who else is racing today. Like, do you see how that shows up? I don't like that. According to this, we only have two horses racing tonight. Now, uh, for tomorrow, yeah, I don't, I don't like this calendar the way it's made. We'll see how this plays out this week, this week, uh, Mom, this month. Oh, this is, no, I don't like this one either. Uh, Tuesday, we have some horses, two more, three more on Sunday. It's not letting me open. Oh, yeah, I'm fancy like is in tomorrow with the outside. Shh. Outside tomorrow, Chevron's bypass. I'm going to drive her. She's going to be a little better. We're going to be a tiny bit conservative. Ooh. Is your tooth still there? Let me see it. Do you want me to pull it? Give me it. Oh, okay. Chevron's bypass is in tomorrow. She's going to be a little bit better, obviously. And love and affection picked to win should do well also. Let's get things back rolling here in the stable at the track. Uh, it's been a so-so week. Hopefully a better week next week. For today, we have two stake finals tonight. Good luck to all my partners in the stake finals. Are you crazy? Good luck to all my partners in the stake finals racing on Sunday, and we will get everything sorted out for everybody next week. So, most importantly, the shares that are remaining for our horses from Harrisburg. First and foremost, if you're one of the people that bought into the buckets, you get first crack at those shares that are left. Everybody else, please pay attention. Tomorrow at noon, Sunday at noon, all those shares are available, and there's not many of them left. As I told everybody, this was going to be a supply and demand sale. I fell short on my trotting fillies. There's not much I can do about that now. But um, tomorrow at noon, all those shares will be unlocked for everybody. I've given everybody, I've given everybody a, a pretty decent update of what I thought of all the horses. You know what they're all about now. You know how we purchased them, why we purchased them, what they fit, what, they're, what they look like. All the information about all those horses should be at your fingertips right now. So with that, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to go get my car. Go to the track, see what's going on, take Ollie to flag football, make my flight, and race the horses tonight. I will talk to you all very soon. Have a wonderful rest of your Saturday and your weekend. I will talk to you all very soon. Take care.